In this, in this week's question, I've been asked how 3D sketch planes work. I've got a partially created 3D sketch in my model just here. I'm going to edit it. Now one of the difficult things about 3D sketch is sometimes drawing elements which aren't necessarily lines inside of your 3D sketch. So you sometimes have to put in extra construction geometry and stuff like that to get stuff fully defined. For example, if I take a three-point arc here and try and take it from this point down to the bottom here, it can be quite hard to get that arc going in the right direction. Uh, you're best to look at it from the right angle. But even then, trying to keep, keep that arc at the right angle can be quite difficult. One of the ways you can work inside of a 3D sketch is to use 3D sketch planes. There's a button up here on the top toolbar which you can use to insert a 3D sketch plane. 3D sketch planes work almost exactly the same as normal sketch planes in your model. When we go to insert them, they look for three references. And we can use the same types of techniques to define them as we would do in a normal model. So for example, I can put them across three points, which is one of the simple ways that you can insert uh, a normal sketch within your part model. If I hit the tick on that one, that then inserts me into a sketch on this 3D sketch plane. And I can double click to switch between the normal 3D sketch environment and the edge of the sketch plane there, which takes me into a 2D sketch environment. So what that means is basically I can go normal to this plane and I can then start drawing elements out, which you'll see there are horizontal. Um, I can also draw elements which just sit on the plane like an arc going this way and I don't then have to define which direction it's pointing in. Okay, we don't have the normal sketch relations of a long X, a long Y, a long Z. We just have horizontal and vertical. Okay, if I just put in a few more relationships to hold this in place, I can then fully define it. There we go. So it's actually fully defined this sketch. If I then double click it will take me back out of that 3D sketch environment and we can start then adding normal sketch, sketch lines in just to those elements that we've just drawn on that sketch plane. So it allows us to construct complex elements of the 3D sketch quite simply but then switch out into the 3D sketch when we want to put in lines going in other directions for example. So it's a really useful way to be able to insert 3D sketches. Thanks very much for watching.